The curry leaf tree is a tree that some Jamaicans mistake for this tree, which is a neem tree. Um, this is a tree that originated from out of Asia and traditionally the leaves of this tree are used as a flavoring agent in some cultures and um, the tree is also used in traditional medicine to treat different maladies. So in today's video we're going to give you a little profile of the curry leaf tree and we're also going to be sharing some of the benefits that you can get from curry leaves. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay guys, so you're now looking at a curry leaf tree. This tree has several other common names, but it all depends on the region in which it is found. For example, there is curry tree, sweet neem, Indian curry tree, and curry bush, among other common names. The scientific name for this tree is Murea Koenigi, and it belongs to the Rotaceae plant family. And this is the same family as the citrus family. So plants like the orange tree are related to this tree. And the genus is called Morea. Now, the curry leaf tree can be described as a small tree. And it typically grows between 13 to 20 feet tall. It is a tree that is noted for its pungent, aromatic leaves. And as I'd mentioned before, these are an important flavoring agent that are used in some cuisines for example indian and sri lankan cuisines the tree is native to india and sri lanka but it does grow here in jamaica and in other tropical and subtropical regions around the world The leaf typically has between 11 to 21 ovate, shiny, dark green leaflets, which grow to about 2 to 4 centimeters long and 1 to 2 centimeters wide. The plant produces small white flowers and they can self-pollinate to produce fruits that start off green then they change to a brownish orange color as they mature then eventually they change to a shiny purple black tone at full maturity unfortunately i don't have any fully mature fruits to show you guys but the color is similar to um, these grapes and um, the fruits are edible and they're actually sweet and they have one large seed which isn't edible curry leaves are highly aromatic when they are rubbed or bruised and um, they are best used fresh in cooking the dried leaves can be used, but the flavor is not as pronounced. The aroma and flavor of the fresh leaves are enhanced when the leaves are fried in oil or butter. And they are often added to vegetable dishes. They add a supple flavor to many other dishes, things like meat, seafood, chutney, and omelettes, among other dishes. 
yellow curry powder is actually a blend of many different Indian spices one of which is sometimes but not always curry leaf powder by the way guys there is another plant that goes by the common name curry plant and the scientific name for that plant is Helichrysum italicum so that would be this plant well this plant is not the same plant as the curry leaf tree Curry leaves can help to reduce triglycerides and bad cholesterol in the blood. They can also increase the level of good cholesterol. They can aid in weight loss, especially if you consume them along with a healthy diet and regular exercise. They can reduce blood glucose levels effectively, so they are helpful to diabetics. They are beneficial to the eyes, so they can help to prevent the early onset of cataracts. They can help to promote the healing of first degree burns, superficial cuts and boils. All you have to do is grind the leaves into a powder and mix this with water to make a fresh paste and then apply it to the area that is affected. Wounds can be covered with a bandage or medical gauze and left on overnight. Curry leaves can also be used as a home remedy for acne and dark spots. So again, you can use this fresh paste and apply it to your face and this should be able to help. This paste can also be applied onto skin infections and nail fungus to help to treat these issues. Curry leaves can stimulate hair follicles and promote growth of healthy strands. They can also be useful for hair loss, premature graying of the hair and dandruff. They are good for boosting memory and can help with impaired memory disorders like Alzheimer's disease and dementia. They are good for digestion and they can improve bowel movement. They can be used to treat an upset stomach and they can help pregnant women to reduce morning sickness and nausea. They're also good for motion sickness. And for this, all you have to do is consume curry leaves before or after your journey. They are particularly high in protein, so adding them to your diet will help you to benefit from the proper growth and repair of cells, especially in children. They can help to prevent the occurrence of common respiratory problems and can also treat issues associated with the cold and the flu. They are good for oral health and um, to achieve this, all you need to do is chew on two to four fresh curry leaves with 10 to 15 milliliters of water in the mouth, swishing for about five to seven minutes and then rinsing the mouth out with water. You can eat curry leaves raw, but it's best to have them on an empty stomach so as to maximize on these benefits. It's okay to have about 10 to 15 leaves 
per day. You can make a tea with the leaves by steeping them in hot water and then drinking the tea. You can make a juice with the leaves by blending them with water. And to cut down on the alkaline taste, you can add a dash of lemon juice and some mint leaves if you so desire. You can take curry leaf powder and have it with water. And you can also take curry leaf capsules. You can also add fresh or dried curry leaves to your meals. Although curry leaves are safe to eat, excess consumption can lead to digestive problems like a burning sensation. <laughs> 